Congratulations. You have finally made it to the final round of this week. <laughs> now it's there it's Friday. TGIF, what's going on? Top headlines, PGA Tour, UFC, top headlines coming at you right now. We're going to talk about uh, former Major League pitcher Odalis Perez. He passed away in an accident at his home in the Dominican Republic. Former Major Leaguer Odalis Perez died after an accident at his home on Thursday night, according to Enrique Rojas on ESPN. According to Waylon Batista Perez, a left-hander who spent 10 seasons in the majors, appeared to fall from a ladder while he was alone at his home. Quote, around 7 p.m., his brother Christian Perez Perez arrived at the house and found Adalis lying in the patio. We don't know yet the cause of his death, but everything seems to indicate Adalis slipped down a ladder. Perez, only 44 years old, made his debut in 1998 with the Atlanta Braves, traded for uh, three years later with the LA Dodgers, with whom he spent five seasons and earned his own selection to the All-Star game. Nice picture of him. Nice lefty. Love the lefties. Remembering Perez family at this time. Next. Motivated Brooklyn Nets blow out 76ers as Ben Simmons is showered with boos and has returned to Philadelphia. Ben Simmons endured all the boos that came his way during emotional charged return to Philly. Brooklyn Nets teammates made sure they got the last laugh, the dominant force 129-100 win over the 76ers on Thursday night. I actually had Philly win in that game and I lost. Next. According to sources here, Chicago Bears set to trade Khalil Mack to the LA Chargers. Go Chargers. Bears are finalizing a trade that will send six-time Pro Bowler defensive end Khalil Mack to the Chargers, sources told Adam Schefter on Thursday. Chargers are expected to send a 2022 second round draft pick, 2023 sixth rounder to the Bears in return for a 31-year-old Mack. And there you go. Don't know what's going on. Still in the works. Top headlines for your Friday. Listen to my daddy on AJ Let's Talk Sports podcast and YouTube and subscribe. All right, we're going to go with golf now. Uh, they're at the Players' Championship as TPC Sawgrass, March 8th to the 13th. Uh, we're going to be in our second round today on Friday. Watched a little bit of it on ESPN Plus yesterday. Had a four-hour delay. We're looking at another delay here, at least probably four hours again today because of the rain. Um, Point Verde Beach, Florida. Nice 68 degrees there, though. That would be nice if we had, excuse me, had that here. No wind and 93% humidity, but it is raining. And it's going to have thunderstorms. All I'm looking at the weather forecast for Point Verde Beach in Florida right now. And it looks like it's going to have thunderstorms all the way till 4 o'clock. Won't be able to play, prop t- tee it up till 5. We're going to have probably a special coming all the way through to a Monday or Tuesday, I bet you. Because they're not going to get any, they're not even going to be able to finish the first round in. Because the players can't. Tommy Fleetwood and, and company can't start their second round until the first rounders get done. So, and they don't look like they're going to be able to tee it off until at least 5 o'clock tonight. And it's going to be 6.30 when the uh, they hold play. That's what they did last night. So we're only going to get about an hour, hour and a half in. That's even if the uh, rain subsides there in Point Verde Beach. Looking at that forecast. So... I feel like a meteorologist right now. It's pretty cool. So with with saying that, we're going to just do the top 10. Dustin Johnson is right there in the top 10. Kevin Kistner, Sam Burns, Brian Harmon, and then the Canadian Taylor Pendrith is in there. Got a, I don't know who, Anurban Lahiri. Looks like he's um, from, I don't know what country he's from, but Daniel Berger's in there. Tommy Fleetwood from England. Tom Hoge and Bryce Garnett is leading uh, Fleetwood Hoge and Garnet are leading at six under right now. Bryce Garnett's still out there trying to get his round done, but he's uh, only on the 13th. So we still got quite a ways to go for that one. And there is your PGA um, updates. And I didn't get my pick in. So I'm going to get my pick in here. Who did I pick? I wrote it down here. There was a lot of up and the air in discussions. Roy McIlroy is who I picked last week. I don't think he's going to do very well this week. Tommy Fleetwood's a good pick. Um, he came off roaring with a six under on his first round, but gotta con- you got to stay consistent throughout the course of four days. Uh, this could be five days. Could go all the way up to six days once, uh, if the rain doesn't subside down there in South Florida. 
But um, Scheffler, I think he's the one who got the win last week. I am not going to pick him. Let's just go with Patrick Cantley. He hasn't. He won last year a couple times, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and go uh, pick Patrick Cantley. Throw it in there. Lock it down. We're going to lock it down now. All right. Now we're going to talk about the UFC. And top headlines here. Uh, not a headline, but coming out of MMA junkie Henry Cejudo. Gun Instinct says he won't fight again. I talk too much SHIT. Blankety blank. Expletive. Um, so I guess Henry Cejudo in the news has been talking about saying that he's going to come back. He wants to get back in the uh, the uh, lightweight division or whatever he's at. I know he's really small. Bantamweight, actually, 135. Bantamweight. Uh, hung up his gloves after defending his bantamweight title against Dominic Cruz back in May of 2020. Said he was going to come back. Hasn't come back. Now he's definitely saying he's not going to come back. So there's your uh, insight on that. Just giving you a heads up on that. So here we go. Now our UFC fight card. We're just going to go ahead and dive right on into it. It's a Friday show. I've been working a lot. Not well. I haven't been working, but I've been. Anyway, screw that. Uh, I've just been doing college stuff, college classes. I'm full time now. Just got my research paper done, by the way, in communications 211, by the way, social media and society, <laughs> the impacts of social media in society. <laughs> Anyways, so we're taking in the five fight here. It starts with a middleweight main card. I only do the main card picks. UFC pick em show right here coming at you. You like it. You love it. Here we go. Middleweight. Alex Pereira versus Bruno Silva. Um, give me Pereira, minus 170, middleweight, taking him. Lightweight bout, second fight in the main card, Drew Dober versus Terrence McKinney. The odds are not up there yet in the lightweight, but I'm giving Drew Dober, double D. Light heavyweight bout is uh, next, Khalil Roundtree Jr. versus Carl Robertson. Give me Roundtree Jr. in that one. He's the favorite. Going to the featherweights, the little boys, little guys, little men, the little, little boys. Anyway, Sadiq Sadiq Yusuf versus Alex Caceres. Give me Yusuf in that one. Number twelve versus number fifteen in the top fifteen featherweight bout. Moving up to the co-main event, uh, bantamweight Marlon Moraes Moraes versus Song Yadong. Number ten versus number fourteen. I'm going to get the dog here and Marlon Moraes. Give me him, and then light heavyweight bout. Number five versus number six, Thiago Santos versus Magomed Ankaleev. This is going to be tough. I want to go with Ankaleev, but I know Thiago Santos is a freaking beast. He's got a tattoo of the Thor hammer on his chest. How can you go against a dude with a tattoo of the Thor hammer on his freaking chest, bro? You can't. That's all I got to say. Now, I kind of wanted to do a little research on Marias, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and have a quick show here. Marlon, the bantamweight, gets it done, and Thiago Santos gets it done. I think if Santos can defend, like we said in the one Bobby Green fight a week or two ago, if Bobby Green could have stopped him, he could have did a little ground uh, stand-up striking on his own, but... He lost really quick in like two minutes in the first round. But anyways, if so- Thiago Santos, these guys coming out of Russia and on them, them Russian Greco-Roman wrestlers and can take down and beat you down and just hold you there. I don't like the way they fight, but Thiago Santos is going to just dominate you and pound your freaking face in. And I want to see that. I want to see it so bad. I want to see Thiago Santos take his Thor fists and bash the Russian face to death. No, I'm just playing. Not to death, but beat him down, boy. I got Thiago Santos. He's a plus 340. If you want to put $100 on it, get your money back, son, on the main card with Thiago Santos. Get it done on ESPN+. Plus. Main card's at 7 o'clock. I'll be watching that tomorrow night. And, uh, Ohio- oh, by the way, giving you a heads up, Ohio State lost last night. Really, really upset about it. Lost to Penn State in the Big Ten tournament. I don't know where they're going to drop to. They're a sixth seed in the NCAA March Madness rankings. So it's kind of anxious to see how they play in March Madness. And like I said um, on the uh, quote there, when I was doing my group chats uh, earlier this morning, I said uh, at least they're going to be well-rested for the tournament. (laughs) Oh, geez. Coach Holtman, dude. 
Get your boys in shape. Let's get them done, man. You got, There's not going to be any excuses when you guys start because Kyle Young's going to be back. Zed's going to be back. Everybody's going to be back. Pretty much going to be back when the when tournament starts. So if you guys lose the first round, you guys are a bunch of bums. I can't even watch Ohio State basketball right now. I really can't. It's really frustrating. Um, especially when you lose a lead at the end of the games, bro. Get over yourself. Anyways. Sorry about that. I had to go on a little Ohio State Buckeyes rant because we lost to Penn State. Penn State, dude. I mean, this ain't a football game. It's basketball. Get over yourselves. Holtman, get out of there. Put me in there. I'll get you boys ready to go. Anyway, so we're going to talk about some... These are golf fun facts that I didn't even know about. So listen to this. This is our last segment. Hope you guys enjoy this. Golf fun facts. Golf was actually banned. Yes. You heard it right. Golf was banned. Not only once, but three times in Scotland. You know when? Between the years of 1457 and 1744. It was actually a rebellious sport that time. In the early days of golf, players would golf publicly, such as on the streets or on business properties. This was seemed a nuisance. In addition, football, soccer was also banned during this time as well. <laughs> ah, man, Scotland, what are you doing, man? Golf was invented in Scotland, too, by the way. The same people who banned the golf were also the ones who created the sport. Scottish people invented golf in 1457. A fun fact Friday show for your golf during play at the PGA Tour uh, during the Players' Championship while in Point Verde Beach, Florida, while play is suspended, here is your Fun Fact Friday. Scottish people invented golf in 1457. No one truly knows the earliest days of the sport. The most accepted theory is the game was created during the high Middle Ages. What about that? One more for you, as Tiger Woods was in, uh, inducted, I think, in the uh, Golf Hall of Fame the other day with his daughter. Tiger Woods made his first hole-in-one at eight years old. Yes, I said eight years old. Younger than my daughter. That's crazy. Professional golfer Tiger Woods has had some interesting escapes in the news. Uh, but in f- one fact that he sure is amazing golfer. Tiger Woods took an interest in golf at six months old. And his father started teaching him at two. He regularly practiced and made his first hole-in-one at only eight years old. Dude, that's freaking awesome. And he also has 81 PGA tournaments. Wins. I think one less than Sam Snead. Yeah, Sam Snead had 82. And uh, Jack Nicholas, the all-time great bear, greatest of all time in my opinion, 73. But anyways, so there is your show, AJ Let's Talk Sports. Love you guys. God bless. Tip that waitress. You know what I'm saying? Get your sports needs at AJ Let's Talk Sports. Hope you have a good day, guys. God bless. Tip your waitress.